How to Change and Improve Your Whole Personality Patterns are the elements that make you who you are, and patterns can shift over time. Remember that our beliefs and thinking are shaped by our life experiences, so your old personality will most likely resurface on a regular basis. It'll take work, but if you're truly devoted to this idea, anything can happen. Welcome back to Mind Over Matter, if you are new here consider subscribing for more content like this. Now let's begin. 1. Write down your plan. Write down what you want to change and what you want to become. One cannot exist without the other. This is a massive undertaking, and you'll need to know which battle you'll be fighting before you begin. What role will your envisioned new character play in your personal growth? Many people will come to the conclusion that a personality change is unnecessary at this point. This is a massive undertaking, and you'll need to know which battle you'll be fighting before you begin. 2. Tell someone. The success of Alcoholics Anonymous is said to be due to its members' honesty with one another. External motivation comes from having someone else hold you accountable. The extra brain power and a set of eyes that are a little farther away from the painting can assist you in seeing how you should act. 3. Make up a reward system. Make up a reward system. This can be as small as moving marbles from one pocket to the other or as large as a vacation. If you walk up to that beautiful girl or handsome guy and get one word out, fantastic. Have rewards for everything, it's all a challenge. 4. Stop labeling yourself. When you stop thinking of yourself as one way or the other, the world opens up to you. You are constantly morphing. But if you realize that you're always growing and changing, you may open up to opportunities you would otherwise shy away from. 5. Quit thinking in fixed terms. Stop thinking in black and white. Once you realize that it's your perception of a thing that determines what it is to you, you'll see more possibilities. Oh may people view certain traits as fixed, while others think traits are malleable. These mindsets can greatly factor into personality. 6. Stomp out negative thoughts. Just stop. The beauty of your brain is that it is part of you, and therefore you control it. When the negative thoughts starts coming, stop it right there. It's not doing you any good. 7. Fake it till you make it. In Zen Buddhism, it is said that the only way out is through the door. Practice approaching random people and conversing with them if you want to become less shy. Start reading if you admire people who read a lot. Simply jump in. The human mind has a remarkable ability to adapt. With enough time, what used to send shivers down your spine will become old hat. 8. Assume another identity. It is this new person you are attempting to be. This should be done at all times. In every situation, you must adopt the habits of this new character. What are their goals and plans for the future? 9. Set aside a specific time to freak out. Alright, so telling you to completely abandon who you are and adopt a new persona by the simple power of thought and habit is ridiculous. There's no way you can keep it up 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Therefore, give yourself a scheduled time to feel how you want. If you have a party on Friday that you are absolutely dreading, tell yourself, you can take 20 minutes just to freak out completely about it. 20 minutes of absolutely illogical, non-productivity. But beyond that, nothing. Stick to it. You know what'll happen? You'll find that you don't need to take the time after all. 10. Throw yourself into new environments. Truly, the only way you'll see change in yourself is if you add something new to your life. If you're afraid of spiders, put yourself in a room with one. Day by day, inch closer to it. Get a job outside your skill set. Start reading up on the subject. Don't hang out with people who do the opposite of whatever it is you're trying to achieve. Start out small. Join a club. What's more, keep yourself out of old environments. You don't want to hang out with people who do the opposite of whatever it is you're trying to achieve. 11. Put on your clothes. Okay, so clothes don't make a man, but they can help you get in the right frame of mind. Though this will have no effect on your personality, it may serve as a reminder of the person you are attempting to become. It could be as simple as donning a hat. Q. 
keep an eye out for anything that strikes you as being characteristic of this new person. To reduce cognitive dissonance, you'll be more likely to stay in tune with yourself. I hope you learned something new today. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more content like this. See you in the next video.